Hello everyone, welcome back to some Subnautica. We are... Ooh, there's been some changes since we last played. Look at this. They've actually organized all of the blueprints. Which is very, very nice. I'm very happy about that. That's been one of my complaints. Oh, this is a bit more organized too. That looks a little bit nicer as well, so there's been a few changes since we last played, huh? I'm liking it. Whoops. Alright, so last time we did the Aurora. Took us a few tries, but eventually we got it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Maybe we'll check out some of these life pods we got on our overhead here. So... As you can see, there was a release recently. This is the oopsies, the June build now. June 2017. It sounds like they don't have a whole lot left to do. They got to do some performance issues. You can kind of see it's getting a little bit laggy here and there. But uh, other than that, this game's coming along pretty well. Of course, the mushroom forest here. As you can see, the frame rate dropping. This is a pretty big source of lag. So this is one of the things, a lot of pop-ins too. One of the things I'll have to focus on smoothing out before, hopefully at least, before the release, official release. Alright, life pod number one, three. What do we got? blueprint it looks like. Ultra glide fins, which I think we already have, yep. Blog number 13. This spaced out a bit more too, I think. So there have been some improvements. So we can undo that. All right, energy pulse origin. What's this about? It's a little ways away, but that's okay. We're going on a little journey. Get out of this mushroom stuff that's just lagging us. Dropping our frames a little bit. We'll head on over here and see what we got. I think we already explored it. I don't, remember, I don't remember what it is. It's been a while since I actually played this. I recorded these in advance, so. It's been about a month since I've played this particular file for the old YouTube series. Can we check out this wreck? I don't know if we did actually. There's our bioreactor. The rest is just going to be titanium. Some water. More, a lot of bioreactor fragments, isn't there? There's a ton of them. Alright, maybe we'll, uh top off our air here real quick Oxygen. we got to get the upgrade for the uh, oxygen tank I think we can cut this door open I believe slowly but surely see what we can find here More bioreactor fragments. There's certainly quite a bunch of these. I mean, our air is really low. Oh, 
We gotta find that upgrade, I think. What is this? More bioreactor? Yeah, we better get out of here quick. Before we black out due to lack of oxygen. Um, that's a dead end. This door take us back outside, maybe? Yep. That was odd. It's like a, the sound of cutting with the uh, laser tool. We got so much titanium. Now we don't really need any more bioreactor fragments, do we? More bioreactor? Yeah. Alright. That's getting really annoying. They took away the... What the hell's going on? Get out of here! Dumb shark thing. It took away the ability to stack oxygen bottles in your inventory, so it's not really possible anymore, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll figure something else out eventually. Really don't need that much water. Oh, first aid kit got a new icon too. So, this is the, the, what's nice about this is you know a lot of early access is really kind of buyer beware. But with this particular one, it's been pretty open in the development process, so it's been going pretty good. Be able to keep track of it. You can see that they've been working on it like every month or so. They've been doing updates, which is really nice. Oh, I know. I don't think we have a purple artifact on us, but it's going to take us inside the, uh, the gun room where that one ship got shot down not too long ago. I think we need two. Alright, so we'll come back to that because we don't have any of the keys on us right now. I should look. I don't know how many keys we have. It's, like I said, it's been a while. Plus, it's nighttime and our boat's a little damaged, so we'll go maybe fix it up. And there's still a few things to explore. We got all the wrecks to explore yet. I think we got most of the life pods. So they should be all okay. All explored. Of course, like I said, it's been updated every month or so. So stuff does change all the time. So we might have switched stuff around on us. Ooh. I might grab all this quartz quick. As you can see, quartz got updated as well. That has a newer one. Since there's just so much of it here, I'm gonna go grab a few of these guys. Eight quarts on this little rock island? Oh, what was that? Thought there was something we could have scanned, but maybe not. Alright, back on the boat. No, not that. Here we go. Let's we'll keep an eye out for some more. Maybe yeah, there's a couple more there. So I like making a lot of windows, and it goes through a lot of quartz. Why is it based on emergency power only? These ones floated on the surface. There it is. Why is it based on emergency power? That's kind of odd. Oh, oh, they did change the way batteries work, so you don't get as much infinite energy anymore as you used to. Used to be kind of broken, but I think they kind of fixed that, so 
Batteries really drain electricity. Same thing with power cells. They drain a lot more now. And they did in previous builds, so that's something we gotta keep in mind when we... Whoops. Charge and stuff back at home base here. Especially since this is only solar power at the moment. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Yeah, that's not really good. I suppose we should make the glass. Yeah, see, it's because of the batteries that we're charging. Alright, well that kind of sucks. I think maybe we'll have to... Well, we got the bioreactor blueprint, I believe. Where is it going to be under? Here's our purple artifact we need. Electronics, maybe? No. Oh, they changed the way those look, too. Uh, there we go, bioreactors. We just need a lubricant. Which maybe we have. If not, we can easily get it. Wow, this all changed too. Holy buckets. All new to me. No lubricant on us at the moment. Probably the water's away. Okay. We can't make anything. Well, we can look it up. It's a lot easier now. Power restored. Power restored. Just one creep vine cluster seed now. And luckily, oh, look at all of them. We can make a bunch of lubricant. Four might be good. Oxygen. Ooh, don't black out. So we'll build a new multi-purpose room. I don't really want them connected. Maybe we'll go one more. Something like that perhaps. Get rid of that. Oh, it disappeared on its own. That's new. Just, oops, we're gonna have a friend attacking us, aren't we? Alright, let's get some more... Titanium. We can maybe make a few... of the lubricant. Dang it, they are connected still. I didn't want that. That's aggravating. I didn't want them to do that. I thought they'd be far enough away where that wouldn't be an issue. I don't really know why I want them far apart. They don't really have to be. Alright, let's build a new... Bio... Oops, actually. We can uh, rotate that. 
So it faces us. There we end. Oh, 650. That's insane. There we end. Night. How much room do we have? Um, at night, you know, we can still have power. Damn it. I didn't mean to eat those. So that should help with power generation. We'll try that. Switch is what I wanted to do. Okay, so that should be pumping pretty good now. So we can... Slice up these guys. Replant our seeds and we'll be good to go. Make a little bit of glass too, because we're going to have to... Uh, add a few windows here and there. We don't got a lot, but I think we'll take a little break. So, as always, I just want to say thank you for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and I do hope I get to see you next time.